السلام عليكم طلابي الأعزاء محاضرة اليوم عنوانها Ultrasound Imaging Here's some information about the history of Ultrasound Imaging 1942 first application of Ultrasound in medical imaging At the end of 1960 boom of Ultrasound in medical imaging At the uh, early 1970 grayscale static image of internal organs has been used. Uh, mid of 1970, uh, real-time imaging has been uh, discovered and used. Uh, early 1980, Doppler effect has been discovered and used. This slide shows you different images of ultrasound were taken in several in several years. Uh, these images show you the development and improvement of ultrasound image quality. You can see the uh, above image, 1970 and 1980, this image were uh, not clear and the quality of this image uh, is not good. However, the image below of 1995 and 2002 uh, are clear and the quality of this image uh, is uh, very good and excellent. And then uh, especially for uh, the image of 2002, you can see the face of the fetus uh, clearly and because the quality of this image is very uh, excellent. Uh, ultrasound uh, is a sound wave with a frequency higher than the audible range. So here's some basic information about the sound and then we go through the explanation of ultrasound. So what is the sound? Sound is a mechanical and pressure wave. Sound is longitudinal wave. Uh, a mechanical vibration transmitted through an elastic medium. So you have to keep in your mind that the sound needs a medium to travel through. Uh, in comparison with light, uh, light doesn't need medium. Light can transmit through the space with a velocity of 3 multiplied by 10 to 8 meter per second. However, sound cannot travel through the space. Uh, sound needs a medium. Uh, sound wave when propagated through air at appropriate audible frequency produce sensation of hearing. When the sound travels through the air, uh, can reach our ears and we hear uh, we uh, hear the sound. This slide shows you how sound wave it transmit and it travel through the air. In the absence of the sound wave, as, as you can see here in this figure A, a ear will be at equilibrium because uh, there is no sound wave it transmitted through it. However, in figure B, you can see there is disturbance due to the compression and reflection that constitute a sound wave. Uh, and because the compression and, uh, compression and reflection, the sound wave will reach to our ears and will hear the sound. معناها الشكل الأول يوضح لنا ان الهواء يكون في حالة توازن في حالة غياب الموجة الصوت اما في الشكل B فانه بسبب انتقال الصوت خلال الهواء سوف يحدث عمليات تضابط وتخلخل والتي يتكون موجة الصوت وتؤدي وصولها الى اذاننا وبالتالي نسمع الصوت Some basic information about the uh, sound uh, and the velocity and the frequency. What is the velocity? Velocity equals the frequency multiplied by wavelength. What is the frequency? We can define the frequency as number of wavelength per unit time. What is the unit of measurement? Unit of measurement of a frequency it is one cycle per second or one hertz. So the frequency is inversely related to the wavelength. كل ما زاد التردد كل ما نقص أو قل الويف لين بالعكس الموجات اللي طولها الموجة قصير يكون ترددها عالي والموجات الصوتية اللي يكون ترددها كبير قصد الموجات اللي يكون ترددها عالي فأكيد طول الموجة مالتها قصير and vice versa والعكس صحيح 
Uh, and then velocity. What is the velocity? Velocity is speed at which wave is propagated through the media and depends on the physical properties of the medium through which it travels directly proportional to the stubbornness of the material. هذه جدا مهمة المعلومة إنه السرعة تعتمد على الخواص الفيزيائية لتلك الوص لتلك المادة التي تنتقل خلالها وإنه تتناسب طرديا ويا الاستبنس of the material صلابة المادة معناها إنه كل ما كانت المادة density مالتها عالية راح يكون في هذه الحالة الصوت ينتقل بسرعة أكبر مما المادة اللي يكون density مالتها قليل هذا الجدول يوضح لكم اللي شرحته velocity of sound in different material هذا الجدول ما تحتاجون تحفظون هذه الأرقام هذه الأرقام فقط اللي توضح لكم الفكرة إنه الماتيريال كل ما كانت density مالتها قليلة فالسرعة مالت الصوت راح تكون قليلة بهذا الوسط والماتيريال اللي يكون density مالتها عالية والمادة تكون صلبة في هذه الحالة السرعة تكون عالية جدا فمثلا نأخذ مثال هذا ذلك الهواء الهواء الفلوسيتي مالته 330 متر بير سكند وايل إذا نزلنا لجوا على الفون نلقى أن السرعة مالت الصوت تساوي لنا تقريبا 4000 متر بير سكند أو الميتال أي قصدي المعدن السرعة تصل من 3000 إلى 6000 متر بير سكند بينما في حالة إذا قارنا ويا الضوء فإن سرعة الضوء تكون بالفراغ أعلى ما يمكن ومستحيل تنتقل في المواد الصلبة مثلا الخشب تنتقل الصوت القصد الضوء خلاله لا طبعا According to the frequency of the sound uh, the sound wave can be divided to several regions the first region is called infrasound uh, the frequency of this region uh, any frequency below 20 hertz uh, the second region is called uh, audible sound Uh, the frequency of this uh, region ranges from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. The third, uh, the third region is called ultrasound. The uh, frequency of this region, anything above 20 kHz, is called ultrasound. So, however, the diagnostic medical ultrasound use uh, higher frequencies. Uh, the range of uh, diagnostic uh, medical ultrasound from 2 megahertz to 20 megahertz. So what is the ultrasound? Ultrasound is sound with the frequency over 20 kilohertz. The frequencies of medical ultrasound waves are several magnitude higher than the upper limit of a human hearing. Frequencies used for diagnostic ultrasound are between 2 to 20 megahertz. You have to memorize these numbers. So, what is the frequencies that used uh, for diagnostic ultrasound? It uh, from 2 to uh, from 2 megahertz to 20 megahertz. The basic principles and the properties are the same that of the audible sound. So, خواص الفيزيائية للالتراساوند هي نفسها الخواص الفيزيائية للصوت يعني معناتها سرعة الصوت العوامل اللي تأثر بيها وتزداد انه تعتمد على الاستفنس كما قلنا سابقا وكما انه الخواص الفيزيائية مثل الرفلكشن قصد الانعكاس او الابسورشن الامتصاص كلها نفسها تطبق للساوند والالتراساوند لان ببساطة الالتراساوند هو موجة صوتية فقط انه التردد مالتها يكون اعلى من المدى اللي نسمعه بآذاننا. Acoustic impedance معناها باللغة العربية المقاومة الصوتية. What is the acoustic impedance? Acoustic impedance is the resistance that material offers to the passage of the sound wave. So المقاومة اللي تبديها المادة لمرور موجة الصوت. The differences between the acoustic impedances of the different tissue types are responsible for the echoes on which ultrasound imaging is based. معناها أنه لكل مادة أو نسيج إلى acoustic impedance خاصة ب. الفرق بين هذه acoustic impedance عند الحد الفاصل بين هذه المواد راح يكون أكو فرق بين الأكوستيك إمبيديانس هي المسؤولة عن تكوين صورة الألترا ساوند. Unit of measurement of acoustic impedance is rylan or kilogram per meter squared multiplied by second. 
reflections at boundaries. The law of optics apply to ultrasound. All the law of opti uh, optics can be applied uh, to ultrasound. At the boundary of uh, at the boundary between tissues, ultrasound is partially reflected. The relative proportions of the energy reflected and transmitted depends on the acoustic impedance between the two materials. So the reflection is the basis of ultrasound image. You can see here in this picture, here uh, the transducer. This is called the transducer, the device that responsible for sending uh, ultrasound wave uh, through the body. And then you can see this incident wave of ultrasound, and uh, when it reaches to the boundary between two uh, tissue that have different uh, acoustic impedance, some of the uh, wave it transmit through the second tissue, while some of it uh, reflected back to the transducer. So the transducer will receive this reflected wave that carry information about the first tissue, and then this transmitted tissue, when it reached to this boundary will either reflected or transmitted or some of it will be reflected and carry some information reflection at boundaries there are uh, three types of reflection uh, specular reflection diffuse reflection and rila scattering in tissue as i said three types of of reflection, specular reflection, diffuse reflection, or rila scattering. The uh, specular reflections happens when the when we have large regular surface and uh, smooth surface, and the transducer was set perpendicularly to the uh, surface. When a transducer uh, sends uh, ultrasound wave, the uh, reflected ultrasound will go directly to the uh, to the transducer so we will get a uh, very uh, very strong signals here in this figure uh, the uh, the transducer wasn't set uh, perpendicularly to that surface so the reflected ultrasound wave will go to another direction and will not get any signal the second type of uh, reflection is called uh, diffuse reflection uh, this uh, this type of reflection happens when we have a regular shapes or small structure so when the transducer sends uh, ultrasound the reflected wave will go uh, back uh, to different directions and just a small amount of it will go uh, to the transducer, so the result uh, it will be weak signal. And the third type is called rila scattering. This type of scattering happens when we have structure or particle size much smaller than the wavelength of ultrasound. Uh, so when the transducer sends ultrasound to these particles, these particles will uh, reflect uh, the sound wave in different directions of uh, away from the uh, transducer so the signal will be very weak attenuation what is the attenuation it is loss of intensity and amplitude of ultrasound wave as it travels through the tissue due to reflection scattering and absorption dissipation as heat so معنى attenuation هو فقدان للشدة والتسعة مثل ultrasound wave خلال انتقالها خلال الجسم نتيجة الانعكاس نتيجة السكاترنج او الابزورشن الامتصاص وهي معناتها انه حيصير فقدان وتضيع على شكل حرارة proportional to the frequency and the distance uh, the wave front travel الاتنويشن يتناسب ويا الفريكوانسي ويتناسب ويا الديستنس اللي تنتقل خلاله الموجة a higher frequency means more attenuation. Uh, longer this, the distance or the depth means more the attenuation. If the frequency is high, 
mean that the ultrasound beam, when it passes through the human body, it attenuated more than the uh, uh, ultrasound beam that has a lower frequency. And when the beam of ultrasound uh, uh, passes through the body with large depth, so suffered from attenu attenuation, uh, from attenuation. Uh, ultrasound scanner consists of three types of components, which are a computer, screen, and the transducer. Transducer has the ability to convert one form of energy to another form. Here, an ultrasound device, transducer converts the electrical pulse to sound uh, to ultrasound beam send this uh, beam inside the body and then receives the reflected uh, uh, ultrasound beam that carry information from the inside of the body and then uh, process uh, processing and amplifying to this signal that carry information and then this signal after processing and amplifying can be displayed on the screen as real-time image. Uh, this transducer has a crystal which is called piezoelectric uh, piezo crystal. The most important component of the transducer is a thin piezoelectric crystal or material. Transducer uses piezoelectric crystal to generate and receive ultrasound wave. So, currently the most widely used piezoelectric material is lead zirconate titanate or uh, PZT. You have to memorize this type of the crystal. Ultrasound generation. As you know, ultrasound device is connecting to electricity. So, how does this device can generate ultrasound beam? Uh, this device can generate ultrasound beam by the presence of the uh, crystal, which is called piezoelectric crystal. This crystal was inside the a transducer. This crystal has the ability to generate an electric charge in response to applied mechanical stress and vice versa. As I said before, this crystal has the ability to convert one form of energy to another form. Uh, when we apply electrical charge on this uh, crystal, can convert this electrical charge to the uh, ultrasound beam. And then when the reflected ultrasound beam returns to this crystal, this crystal has the ability to change this uh, beam of ultrasound to electrical charge that carries all information from the uh, body. مثل ما تلاحظون بهذا الشكل إنه نصور إنه هذه هي الكريستال. هنا في حالة عدم وجود لا فولتية ولا جهد ميكانيكي فإنه الفولتية المسجلة صفر. في حالة إنه سلطنا فولتية بمقدار معين يؤدي إلى تغيير شكل الكريستال وبالتالي تؤدي إلى توليد موجة فوق صوتية وهنا أنه في حالة بالعكس سلطنا سلطنا موجة فوق صوتية يؤدي إلى تغيير شكله وبالتالي تولد لنا كهرباء يعني هذه الكريستال اللي اسمها بيزو الكتريك إفكت كريستال لها القابلية على تحويل ال ال electrical charge إلى ultrasound beam والعكس صحيح ومن توصل ال reflected wave إلى ال crystal تحولها من ultrasound beam إلى electrical charge هذه ال electrical charge بعدين يصير فيها processing amplifying وبعدين يتم عرضها على الشاشة as real time image Image formation. As the ultrasound beam passes through or interacts with tissues of different acoustic impedance, 
It is attenuated by combination of absorption, reflection, reflection, and diffusion. كما قلت سابقا إنه الأطباء ساوند خلال من تمر خلال الجسم راح تتم تمر خلال أنسجة مختلفة with acoustic impedance مختلفة فيصير بها attenuation بواسطة ال absorption, reflection, reflection, and diffusion. Sonic waves that are reflected back echo toward the transducer cause a change in the thickness of the piezoelectric crystal, which is in turn produces an electric signal that is amplified, processed, and ultimately displayed as an image on monitor. As I said before, no, the mode for the sound or the ultrasound beam that is in case or to the transducer. راح تأثر على البيزو الكتريك كريستال وتغير <hesitation> تؤدي إلى أنه تغير شكلها فيؤدي ذلك إلى توليد <hesitation> الكتريكال سيجنال، هذه الكتريكال سيجنال تحمل إنفورميشن من الجسم اللي كانت مسلطة عليه، هذه اللي مرت خلاله، هذه ايش راح يصير بها الكتريكال سيجنال؟ راح يصير بها امبليفيكيشن بروسيسينج، أند ذين بالأخير راح يتم عرضها. بالمونيتر as real time image. This important note is here. The fraction of the beam that is reflected back to the transducer depends on the acoustic impedance of the tissue. This very important information. أهم شيء إنه الجزء اللي العكس من البيم ويرجع إلى الترانسديوسر يعتمد على الفرق بالacoustic impedance لكل tissue. Um, for image formation here, yeah. the fraction of the beam that is reflected back to the transducer depends on the acoustic impedance of the two tissue. See the figure here. The first uh, image you can see we have uh, two tissues. The first one is water and the second one is air. When the transducer sends ultrasound beam, uh, when the incident beam uh, reach the Boundary between the two tissue, uh, all the uh, all the incident beam will be reflected back to the transducer because the uh, difference of the acoustic impedance of the two tissue is very high. So the air will appear bright or white in the ultrasound image because we will not get any information because ultrasound uh, didn't pass through it. So if we have uh, two uh, two tissues, uh, both of them uh, are liquid. So the difference of the acoustic impedance between the two is very low. Uh, then the transducer sends uh, ultrasound beam. The incident beam of ultrasound when it reaches uh, the boundary between the two tissue, uh, it can transmit through the as through the second tissue and just a little bit of it will uh, reflect it back to the transducer. So the liquids uh, will appear in uh, ultrasound image uh, dark. Then the third uh, image we have for uh, two tissues, one water and the second one uh, bone. The, uh, the difference of the acoustic impedance between the two tissue is very high. So the incident beam of ultrasound when reaches the boundary between the two tissue will be reflected back to the transducer and will not carry any information from the bone. And so the bone will appear in the image of ultrasound bright. As you can see here in this image, this real image of ultrasound you can see different uh, region in this image. Uh, we can divide this region and call each one uh, by the name. But the first one is called hyperechoic. Hyperechoic uh, includes bone, air, capsule. These uh, regions will appear in uh, will appear in ultrasound image brighter. Why? Because the difference of the acoustic impedance between the tissue is too high. The second one is called uh, isochoic. The difference 
between uh, the two, uh, the difference of the acoustic impedance between the two tissue is low, uh, and this uh, region includes uh, muscle and fat. And uh, the, uh, the last region is called hypoechoic, which uh, appear in uh, an ultrasound image darker and uh, includes fluid. This here you can see it uh, represents fluid. Here in this image represent either air or capsules. Here in this image uh, represents muscle or fat. How is the procedure performed? For most ultrasound exams, uh, the patient is positioned lying facing up on the examination table. يعني المريض يستلقي على الميز مالت الفحص. A clear water based gel is applied to the area of the body being examined to eliminate air pockets between the transducer and the skin that can block the sound wave from passing into your body. هذه كلش مهمة الملاحظة انه من يتم الفحص لازم نخلي جل اه او ووتر او اه حتى يمنع انه تكون فقاعات الهواء لان في حالة وجود اي هواء بين الترانسديوسر والجسم راح كل الاوترا ساوند اه will be reflected back to the transducer وما راح نحصل اي صورة اذا وجود the gel is very important to do the procedure of ultrasound imaging. The sonographer, which uh, means ultrasound technologist, uh, or radiologist, then passes the transducer firmly against the skin in various locations to better see an area of concern. But then, the radiology or the uh, technology that is present in that location, the imaging. نو يضغط لازم بالترانزيوسر بقوة على الجلد في المنطقة اللي يريد فحصها. Here in this slide you can find benefits versus risks of ultrasound. Here in this slide you can see the limitation of general ultrasound imaging. Here the references of the lecture and we are done. Thank you.